Hello, welcome to another screencast. This time uh, will be the continuation of a little discussion about uh, glandular epithelium. So this is glandular epithelium two. Uh, you see the other uh, number one for glandular epithelium one, in which we uh, did this. Uh, so describing, explaining similarities and differences between endocrine and exocrine glands. We've already done that. So uh, here this time we're going to be looking at uh, three mechanisms of secretion, and then uh, it's kind of the three types of secretions. Okay, so. Uh, the mechanisms, a uh, mechanism of secretion is a way that the secretion actually leaves the cell, all right? So here's the mechanism, uh, and there are three of them. Uh, and the salivary glands are representative of the first kind, and these are uh, merocrine, merocrine glands. And here's the description of the merocrine gland, and then here's the picture of what's going on. So uh, in the merocrine secretion, uh, the contents of the secretory vesicles, so that's these little guys right here, these little vesicles are going to fuse with the membrane here and the secretion is then just released out of the cell. So the cell, the cell stays intact, um, the secretion just uh, follows or flows out by exocytosis. Okay, so saliva, enzymes in the saliva, this is how uh, that is being produced. Okay. So merocrine gland. Uh, the next is the apocrine glands, and that is uh, representative of the mammary glands. So mammary glands, those cells are apocrine in nature. And this apocrine uh, here, the secretion involves the loss of the apical cytoplasm. So here we see one, two, three phases of this. So this, as the cell is maturing, you get this little pinching in of the end of the cell here where that contains all these vesicles. Right? Now, in a merocrine, uh, if this was a merocrine cell, these uh, vesicles would just fuse at the membrane and then the uh, secretion would be removed. But in this case, the entire part of the cell is going to continue to pinch in, right? pinch in, pinch in. And then we see that this part of the cell here is just released and uh, it then will break down. And, and as that cell uh, bits there break down, the secretions are released out there. And so in the case of the mammary gland, the secretion would be milk. So this is how milk is produced by these cells. And then this cell right here is going to then regrow right, and then mature into, uh, into a new cell that is then going to, of course, have that little bit of cytoplasm removed from it. Right? So the cells stay intact here. And then lastly, the last mechanism are uh, holocrine, gl holocrine glands. And those holocrine glands are represented by these sebaceous glands right, uh, that are the oil-producing glands. And so these holocrine glands, the whole entire cell uh, is going to disintegrate. Right? And so here we see uh, the cells at the, at the basilar membrane part here are going to be dividing. The cell is actively mitotic. And the cell migration is up this way. And as the cells migrate this way, being replaced by new cells at the base here that are uh, that are being produced, the cells at the surface here will disintegrate. The whole entire cell will rupture and break open, and then the cytoplasmic contents as well as the secretions are released. Right? So again, this is how oil is produced. Right? So you should be able to uh, pause here and sort of make a little uh, graphical organizer that compares and contrasts the similarities. Uh, between the merocrine, apocrine, and holocrine glands, and then also the differences between them. Right? And you should be able to identify uh, at least you know, a different gland where that was going to be taking place, so salivary glands, merocrine, etc. Okay? So it might be a good idea to pause now. And now, these, once these secretions have been produced by these cells, and then we looked at the mechanism of them, uh, this is just a table uh, down here, we're going to look at the, just these secretion types, right? and so the glands can also be, be classified on the kind of secretion that they make. So these, uh, the serous glands, uh, that that secretion is different in nature and composition than uh, the mucous glands. So here we see that these serous glands have this uh, watery solution containing enzymes, right? and then mucus is a thicker and slippery. Uh, uh, component here, and so the salivary glands are, are good examples of that. And so the serous membrane is a lot more watery, mucus is thicker, uh, and the protein that makes up mucus that makes that really thick 
is a protein called mucin. Go figure. So the mucin, that protein, makes the mucus a little bit thicker, slippery. And then there are some, some secretions, some glands that are mixed, right? They contain uh, more than one type of secretion. Right? And so you get a little bit of difference here in these uh, submandibular salivary glands, right? Can produce both a serous and a mucus. Uh, and this will give your saliva a little bit different consistency, uh, whether or not you're talking about a parotid salivary gland, right, that is going to have these enzymes in it that are in involved with uh, digesting. Right? So these enzymes here digest food. Um, and then the secretions of the salivary, of the submandibular salivary glands here, uh, this is to help wet the food bolus, uh, keep it moist. Right, so that it uh, will, is e much easier to swallow uh, and move down the esophagus, right? So different types of secretions there for different types of glands, okay? So just a quick little uh, summary there. Um, and at this point, you should be able to take all of these vocabulary words uh, and sort of link them together, sort of make some sort of like graphic organizer or a concept map uh, and be able to sort of tell a story here about uh, the epithelial cells, uh, the secretions, the glandular secretions, um, as well as some of the tissue fibers. So this is uh, a good kind of summary for the first part there of uh, chapter four. Okay, that's a lot, I know, but uh, you should be able to, to handle most of that. Okay, so uh, you should be able to now uh, I describe and, and explain here the three mechanisms. Again, this is a way that it happens. Uh, and then the three types of secretions there, whether it's uh, mucus, serous, or then some sort of mix there. Okay, thanks for listening and bring your questions to class.